Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? We are bringing more muscle car power to you, and it's with this vehicle right here. What is this? This is a 2023 Dodge Charger jailbreak, but this is a special one that Dream Giveaway Garage is calling the Hell Bee. But before we get into this 717 horsepower four-door muscle car, let's talk about what the heck's going on here the Charger. It's been around since 1967, and you know what? 2023 is the final year of this vehicle as we know it. So what does that mean? That means we don't have the V8 rumble anymore. We don't have the V8 sound and the torque. Dodge is moving towards an electric Charger, a fully electric Charger for model year 2023. That's where I'm going to leave it at. I don't even want to talk about it anymore because it makes my stomach hurt. But luckily enough, we have this jailbreak version. Now, that, when it comes to the jailbreak trim for the Charger and the Challenger, basically it was a all-you-could-eat buffet, have it your way of an order option process. So you could choose different color seatbelts, wheels, wheel colors, brake calipers, badging, the whole nine yards. And that's what Dream Giveaway Garage did with this one. But then because this is part of a twofer, you actually get two vehicles with this particular giveaway, they wanted to bring that Super B name, that Hell B name, and match it together. So what I want to find out is, if you're looking for the last of the best when it comes to four-door muscle cars, and you're looking for sedan performance, is this Dodge Charger Hell B the way to go? Let's go ahead. Let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, that sinister black color matches the body lines so perfectly on this four-door sedan. Now, at the front of the business, you're going to get the same style. We've been talking about this for years, and it was one of those things that Dodge felt if it wasn't broke, don't fix it. So we have the wide body style that gives you an extra three inches of width, full LED daytime running lamps, projector beam headlights, and turn singles. One of my favorite things, though, is the F word. No, not that F word. Functionality. So we have functional corner air intakes and air curtains. And then you'll notice the APR Performance front splitter. Full carbon fiber. And that's not the only thing that we have that's full carbon fiber. Love the way it goes nicely with the front end. Of course, we have those struts to make the adjustments for the splitter. And then you'll notice the APR racing badging sitting there to let you know who produced this beautiful piece of carbon fiber. And that's the thing is not all brands are created equal and definitely with what Dream Giveaway Garage is going with, they're bringing the good quality stuff. Now you'll notice that we have this dark metallic gray, almost like a black, on the SRT badge with the Hellcat there. This is not a red eye, it's a standard Hellcat. You do have full functionality in the top, the center, and the bottom. And then like I said, this is gonna have all the drag strip goodies. So you're gonna have your launch control, you're gonna have your line lock, but you also have four door usability. But definitely, I think in black, with the way that they spec the splitter, it's looking pretty darn good. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Now, as we rise up, you get this very tastefully done flat black hood stripe with the Helby logo there. This obviously going in connection with the Super B. You do have functionality on your center air intake, that big hood scoop. And you have, of course, your big bulge with the details. 717 horsepower, heat extractors on both sides. It's one of those hoods that it's all about functionality, but damn, does it look good. And you get the bulge. Now, as you come around the bend and you gotta go wide because we have the wide body, what are we working with? These are those warp speed wheels, 20 inches in diameter, 11 inches in width. If you'll see behind there, we have the two piece rotors. Nice, good size, over 15 inches, and they decided to go flat black with the calipers, with the SRT and Brembo badging, six-piston calipers. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what about wheel size? Just like before, 305s, all four corners. 
on this four-door performance vehicle. You have the adaptive suspension. And then coming down the side, just like up front, there's that dark, dark metallic gray Hellcat badge. Color match on the mirror caps. Sunroof delete. Let me know how you feel about the sunroof delete. You can get a sunroof if you want, standard sunroof. This one has a sunroof delete. One of the things that I'm always gonna remember about the Charger is I love the way they did this side cove indentation on the doors. It really does a great job of giving it some really nice style without it being too over the top. You'll notice how they took the Helby and with a, with a flat black finish, applied the Helby to the rear of this vehicle. It's like it's there, but it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Of course, you're gonna have a limited slip diff out back to get the power to the ground. And then swinging out back, just like up front with the carbon fiber splitter, we have this massive carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler. Not only does it look good, but it's also functional as well. Steven's gonna show you the front side of it. Looking really good. Dodge does a great job with their LED lighting. They always have. And this one has the Dodge bright silver with the charger name. There's the SRT badge, street and racing technology. That's what SRT stands for. And unfortunately, SRT is officially dead. Now, as we drop down from Holly and Flowmaster, we have these Flowmaster exhausts. I love the nice, large opening. You could fit a freaking orange in there and fire it out like a, like a missile. And you're gonna have that nice slash cut, one tip on each side, that's all I need. I'm glad they don't look like vacuum cleaners, like on the Charger, I, I see me on the Challenger. I like the, the nice large round opening slash cut and a simple rear lower bumper area. That's all I need. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about 717 horsepower in this Charger. All right, guys, we got the hood popped, that functional, fully functional hood underneath the hood is nothing but the business. I'm gonna touch this. This is the last time that we're bringing these for a while because that's that massive supercharger, 6.2 liters of V8 goodness with that supercharger. Love the SRT Hellcat badge. 717 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds. Quarter mile goes by at 10.8 seconds. Here's the kicker, top speed, 204 miles per hour. Now let's think about that for a second. You're traveling the length of a freaking football field every second at 200 miles an hour. Now you'll see there's no plastic covering the supercharger. You got the nice large throttle body. Love the way it's got the Hemi orange on the valve covers there. That is the connection with history. And we got the last call badge. Remember all 2023s get that last call badge but you know what the charger is going away but we're going to go out with a bang if you're ready i'm ready let's fire up this hellcat and hear its roar guys we are inside this 2023 dodge charger jailbreak what dream giveaway garage is calling the hell bee now i know you're saying to yourself well joe call it whatever you want because i love all the names that dodge comes out with and i like the idea of calling this a hell bee especially because of the connection with the super bee my question is joe how much msrp is this so MSRP, the way that this jailbreak is optioned is right at $89,000. Let's see what you get. If you're able to win this one to the door panels, you have the premium level of interior. So smooth touch, white contrast stitching. I like the way they did the diagonal stitching in the center. And then there's no gloss black anywhere on the door panel. Door pocket is a great size for four Taco Bell chalupas and a bottle of Mountain Dew to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, more of that smooth touch material. You do have the jailbreak name with the, or with the uh, red background. And then you slide on in, yes, you're gonna be disappointed that this still uses the smaller 8.4 inch 
Uconnect 4 system, but the great news is it's very easy to use. And you can see, like, you can adjust your launch control, what your RPM is, activate a shift light, you could go into your performance pages, line lock, the whole nine yards. I really like the way they have this system set up and your different drive modes. Bright red start stop button to fire up that 717 horsepower, real knobs on the radio controls and on the AC controls. And then down below, you could put four track Twinkies, a 12 volt. I highly re recommend running a good radar detector. This is that Torque Flight 8 speed automatic transmission. You got a little area for some Tic Tacs after you smoke them. You might get a little smoky taste in your mouth from the tires. Pop a Tic Tac. I like the way it's got a nice cover. You slide back, two cup holders. You're not drinking in my Hellcat, that's for sure. Love the soft touch, the stitching. Lift this up. You got a place for all the tears from those Mustang owners, Mercedes AMG owners, and everybody else that you're gonna blow out of the water. Two USBAs, an aux jack, a 12 volt, and a place where you could put, I would say, four packages of Skittles, the large king size Skittles. Because I'll tell you right now, when people see you leave them and you gap them by five cars, they're gonna be seeing nothing but colors, the colors that are on Skittles. Seats, Napa leather, nice soft touch, SRT badge there with the Hellcat logo, nice bolstering. You do have power adjustments for the passenger, power adjustments for the driver, and guess what? We have these optional seat belts, nice dark orange. But why don't you go ahead, come on over to the business end. I got a custom steering wheel I wanna introduce you on this super Helby. All right, guys, we got two memory seat settings on the driver's side. You do have an aluminum brake pedal, aluminum throttle, but the problem is, is this dead pedal. It's just sad. I gotta zonk that. You do have your power seat controls, just like the passenger side on the driver's side. And we have the optional floor mats with the same color of the seat belts. That's worth an extra five horsepower. Seats are like a lazy boy. These are great for the drag strip, not so great for the twisty roads. So something to think about, a Drake muscle custom steering wheel. Love the leather, the carbon fiber, the silver stripe, top dead center, flat bottom. We do have metal paddles. They are on the smaller side to go up and down that eight speed automatic. You do have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then of course you have those classic gauges, the bright red analog gauges with the digital display in the center that you could go through a cornucopia of information. But you know what? The great news about the charger compared to the Challenger is that we have two extra doors. So let's get into the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like this Hellcat Helby. All right, guys, back seat time. And you know what? This is where you see the size of the Charger. You have plenty of room back here, especially compared to a lot of the German Euro performance sedan competitors. The backs of the seats, you do have nice pockets. Keep a couple issues of Muscle Car Magazine back here, maybe some old car craft. And then, of course, you're going to have your AC vents, two stages of heated seats, which are nice. And you have two USB-A uh, jacks ports here for your passengers. But like I said, I'm six feet tall, plenty of room up front, plenty of room out back. No center armrest. So that's one thing that you are not getting on the chargers, the center armrest, but everybody gets the custom seat belts when you option them that way with the jailbreak options. But why don't we go ahead? I'm not gonna show you the trunk. There's plenty of room there. You've seen it before. I wanna hop back up front and get my hands on that carbon fiber and leather steering wheel and go on throttle in this Hellcat. All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 Dodge Charger Hellcat Jailbreak Hellby. And you know what? We got the red keys. Here's the proof. Boom, ba -da boom, boom, boom. And if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna take you on throttle while you're sitting shotgun with me. We're gonna do it now. And I'm gonna manually shift with the paddles. Are you ready? Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> I tell you right now, this freaking car is a barrel of laughs. And you know what? You can have your EV and it'll throw you back in the seat and you can do zero to 60 in two seconds. That's fine and dandy, 
But with this car, it's all about not just the performance, but the sensations, the sound, the smell of the tires, the smell of just the sweat dripping down your face as you're trying to pedal to make sure you keep traction and not lose the rear end and hit one of these poles. That is what it's all about when it comes to one of these four-door muscle cars. Now, right away, this Drake Custom Steering Wheel is out of this world. I mean, the leather, the carbon fiber, it feels great. It looks fantastic. It's like this is what Dodge should have added to the option list. And then, of course, with those Flowmasters, on throttle! I tell you, the sound of the, that Flowmaster exhaust makes all that supercharged goodness with the V8 power sound that much better. And when you have it in track mode, whether you're shifting with the paddles or you're letting the Torque Flight 8-speed automatic do the shifting for you, it's like you're getting kicked in the back by a donkey. That's how purposeful the shifts are. That's how everything is just like boom, 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 boom. And it feels spectacular. Obviously, seats are very comfy. You got plenty of room. We're going to come to a complete stop again because that's what this car is all about, man. Are you ready? We got those 305s out back. All right, bro, here we go, yeah! On the brakes, those massive Brembos. Yeah, look at it. Get it. Mm, get it. Ooh, yeah. Look, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Those freaking 305s out back, 305s out front, and it felt good. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, well, Joe, I feel the I feel the traction control kicking in. You better be you better be right. I got the traction control off, but there's still going to be that stability control that I'm not shutting off, not on the streets, that's for sure. I want to be on an airport runway so I got plenty of room just in case. They don't call it a, on purpose. They call it an accident and I want to stay away from from that side of the of the road, so to speak. But I'll tell you right now, the front end grip is phenomenal. You got the adaptive dampers. Steering feels great. The only problem, well, there's a few problems besides the dated interior and stuff. The one problem is she's a little too heavy. If Dodge would have shaved 500 pounds, 600 pounds off the frame, off the chassis of this vehicle, it would be a damn nuclear missile. Still, Plenty of artillery firepower, but like I said, a little bit lighter would be spectacular. But let's go on throttle again, because that's that's what we do. We got the bulge, we got the sound. Are you ready? On throttle, here we go, yeah! Mm. Mm. Every time you hit the shift, it's like boom! Kicked right in the back of your freaking head. I love it. I love these kind of cars and it's a damn shame that guess what? They're disappearing. That's why they call it the last call because the party's over on this one. So if you want one of these, this is a great opportunity to get a very, very special car that Dream Giveaway is calling the Helpy. Oh, wow, here we go. On those brakes, look at this, come on baby. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! Yeah! It's crazy because, yeah, she may be a little heavy, but she wants to dance. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I could do this all freaking day long, but we all know. Just like this is the last call. It's not the last call Rady's Rides, but we gotta wrap this thing up because I'm gonna get myself into some big trouble in this thing. <laughs> oh my God. Invest in a radar detector. 
invest in a laser jammer and invest in a very good attorney, a very good traffic law attorney, because uh, you're going to need it in this thing. But hopefully this has been uh, a good review for you. I feel like it has for me. I hope it's been good for you. But we're going to get back to where it all started, Dream Giveaway Garage, and wrap this one up. I'll see you in a muscle car minute. All right, guys, been another crazy day, fun-filled muscle car kind of day with this 2023 Dodge Charger jailbreak Helby. We definitely got to thank the whole Dream Giveaway Garage crew, Lori, Ryan, Chris, and the rest of the bunch for getting us access to this beast. Remember, this is one of two vehicles, part of the same giveaway. And if you spend $25 or more and use the Radies Rise promo code, you get double the chances. And remember, I don't get paid anything to say that. Dream Giveaway Garage wants to help the Radies Rides family have a better chance of winning. But let me know down in the comment section, what do you think about this particular jailbreak, especially with it being a hell bee? I'm very curious to see what you have to say. Put your comments down in that bottom section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up. The man with the blue hat. That's what he always wears. It's like, you know, you think about the man in the yellow, the yellow hat. Curious George. Well, guess what? Here on Radies Rise, we got the man in the blue hat, and that is Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.